that happened in New York. So I started asking questions to my friends, the Muslim. I met a group of men from an, is an organization called uh, whyislam.org. I met them in the city where I live. They gave me, yes, I am a Muslim. I've been a Muslim for almost three years, Londoner. I said my Shahada October 29th, 2006, the day my sister passed away. And next month, it'll be three years since I uh, became a revert. But um, I, I actually knew a little bit about Islam. I knew about a little bit, but I really didn't understand a lot of things. But when what happened on 9-11, it got me to wondering what true Islam said about what had happened. started asking questions. And I met a group of people from the Islam, uh, Islamic organization, whyislam.org. And I sat down with them for a weekend, and I talked to them. Before I left them, they gave me an English translation of the Quran and said if I had any questions, to find a masjid in my community and talk to the imam and the brothers and the um, masjid. I came on Pal Talk, and there's a room on Pal Talk. I was nothing. I was nothing. I, I, didn't, I didn't practice any religion at all. So, I came on to Pal Talk, and there's a room on Pal Talk called Islam Answers Back. I went into that room, and I sat there, and I listened to the people teaching and, 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 and reading from the Quran. I asked my questions, and I sat there, and I was very respectful. And I stayed in that room. My first impression of it were, you know... It was um, it was where I needed to be. It was where I needed to be. I um, I was away from God. I was away from Allah, and I needed I needed needed to to, to listen to the stories and listen to the messages. So. On October 6th, or no, October 29th of 2006, my sister passed away. I came into the room, the uh, Islam Answers Back room, and I sat there and I told the people that in the room, the brothers and sisters, that my sister passed away. And we were talking. I felt a strong tugging at my heart to say the Shahada at midnight. Eastern time, I live on the eastern side of the United States, I said the Shahada. And then I found a masjid in my community, and I've been wonderfully blessed by Allah with a wonderful Imam. He takes the time and answers my questions, if I have any questions, and he will sit there and take the time to talk to me. That was uh, October 29th, 2006, when I reverted. And then um, in November of 2006 is when I found the masjid. The moment, it was, it was beautiful. I felt like chains were lifted off of me. I, I felt like chains were lifted off of my shoulders. I needed to be where I was and to do what I did. Um, thank you. Uh, shukran, Aki. I, I hope you're a brother. <laughs> no, I really do. Uh, very, you know, it's very nice of you all to welcome me the way you are, too. Um, and, you know, it's just wonderful to be able to talk to my brothers and sisters that are all over the world. Um, I really do appreciate that you allowed me to come to the mic and, well, family, what could they do? What could they do? I'm the only, I'm the only believer in my family. 
uh, so uh, you know I I'm, I'm it's 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 wild you know I have never regretted doing it and saying the shahada I I appreciate and 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 love all of you for the sake of Allah. You know, my friends treated me okay. They said, you know, if this is what I needed to do, then I needed to do it. You know? And they told me, they said that this is, it, it was my decision. So, you know, I just wanted to come and share my story and appreciate the, uh, the able to be able to share it with all of you. Assalamu alaikum, rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters in Islam. <coughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Not so fast, brother bear, not so fast. We finally found you. Uh, this room uh, is mainly for reverts, I think. And uh, alhamdulillah, we, we have established this place six years ago. Um, and now we're back, alhamdulillah, to gather all the brothers and sisters who are reverted to Islam. So they can share with us and uh, take care of their room. This, this room is not for uh, uh, any other subject except the revert, 
with the exception, unless they're away. Now, Wallahi, I was so happy, and I'm sure each and every one of us is extremely honored to uh, meet someone like you, Akhi Bir. Um, the, only, the only reason why I interrupted you is because uh, I, I kind of heard your story a little late. I came in, um, to, and I was in disbelief that, mashallah, new brother, and we're very happy and proud to hear you. I'd like you to take the mic, Akhi, again, for the sake of Allah only, okay? And uh, take as much time as you want until tomorrow it does not matter to us this is what this room is all about to focus on the story of why you became to Islam why you became Muslim why Islam um, it, it must it must it must be a, an unbelievable experience to come from complete darkness into the light of, of Islam uh, with the guidance of Allah Azza wa um, there are many Muslims in this room many non-Muslims we uh, they are all welcome to share with us inshallah and ask the brother any question that he wishes uh, to answer. Uh, so, Athi, I have three questions for you. Uh, summarize, uh, if you if you can, why you chose Islam. Okay, why you became Muslim. Second question is, uh, ex- tell us about your experience uh, the first week as a Muslim, the first day or two or three. Tell us what what happened uh, in your life. It, has it has it been better, worse? Your your outlook on life, your view uh, of things as a Muslim must be definitely totally different. The the subhanallah, it's, it's like a transformation from a complete uh, uh, personality to another. And I've seen that wallahi within minutes of people taking shahada, uh, they'll be they'll be going and acting crazy. Once they they utter the shahada, they become they become something else. Subhanallah al-Azim. Darkness to light. Yes, yeah, Muslim. Wallahi. It's an amazing story. So, Brother Bear, uh, if you bear with us, inshallah, you know, we're too happy and too excited to have you. Uh, as you can see, we have a lot of admins. And uh, you are very welcome to admin as well. We're not, we're not just collecting admins. No, any Muslim can be an admin in this room, inshallah. As long as you are based on the true creed and the true manhaj of... of uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Allah's command Quran and Sunnah that is what we are uh, here to teach that's what we are here for inshallah anyone else is welcome anyone else is welcome to listen but for the non-Muslim and the Shia and all the other groups may Allah guide all of us to the true path of Islam uh, I need to kill my cat by the way <laughs> okay brother bear whenever you're ready inshallah Whenever you're ready, take your mic, inshallah, and we would love you uh, to be with us, okay? So, uh, fav- favor this room, okay? Uh, press the favor button, add to your favorite, add my nick, and all the admins, inshallah, so we can invite you whenever you're online. If you'd like to admin with us, any new reverse, new Muslim, you're very welcome to do that. Now, I am not a reverse, so therefore, uh, it's, it's not, I'm not in the spotlight, I think. You guys are. And please, uh, brothers and sisters who's who's been a Muslim uh, all your lives, you know, forgive me, I don't mean that you're less than the reverse, a'udhu billah, you're, you're just like us and just like the reverse, inshallah, it's just that we focus on the stories, okay, we focus on the, tr- the story, Akhi, okay, the story of the new Muslims who are struggling, struggling, just to say, salamu alaikum, you know, that's very difficult, and it's our job and our duty to help each and every one of them, uh, especially in Pal Talk, this evil, evil, evil pal talk agenda, you know, with so much evil in it, we're just uh, struggling to keep a place where we can talk and, and be civilized, and alhamdulillah, with the help of Allah Azza wa Jal, then all of my brothers and sisters, this is very possible, we've done it for three years, we can do it again, haters are not welcome here, people with agendas are not welcome here, and they will find out very soon, and we will take the mic and expose each and every one of them. Yeah, we don't like debates. We can discuss any issue, but the debate issue, the debate things, are, there are plenty of rooms that does that. So if you're one of us, please honor us with your pres- presence here, and, and inshallah, you teach us, and we learn from you. Okay, if 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 you're not, you're still welcome to be with us. Just do not create fitness. Do not PM the good people here to uh, expose yourself and the venom that you preach. I'm talking about the haters now. Brother Bear, it's, it's your show, your time. Nobody should raise their hand when someone's telling a story. Uh, please, 
you know, Barakallah Feek, only do it for Sabilillah. By the way, all these stories are being gathered. Uh, it's going to be into a DVD format, professionally well done, inshallah, and it's going to be given fi Sabilillah. Okay? So, maybe 20, 30 years after we die, we pass away, you're still getting uh, uh, hasanat out of nowhere. Wallahu a'lam. So, just think about it. It's Sadaqa Jariya. May Allah help us uh, complete and finish this work. Uh, and, and may Allah reward all of you brothers and sisters Wallahi I love you for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal And I'm so proud to, to uh, be, for, be a, a part of you Wallahi Yala well, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullah Brother Bear it's all yours Assalamu Alaikum Okay Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh again brothers and sisters in Islam um, Earlier I had said that the reason that I started asking questions about Islam was because of what had happened on September 11th, 9-11 in the United States. Well, before that, I really, really, I knew very little about Islam, but when all those events happened that day, you know, I didn't want to hate all Muslims because of what fanatics did. That's why I started asking questions. I wanted to know what true Islam had said about what the events that took place on September 11th. So, as I said earlier, I met a group of men. There was an Islamic conference in Baltimore, Maryland, where I am from. And there was a group that had a booth set up outside of the convention center. And the group was called whyislam.org. I went down Saturday, I listened to the men talking, I asked my questions, I, you know, and I explained to them exactly what I had wanted to know. And these brothers were so nice and understanding, they sat down and talked to me. They, and then I went home that night, and the second day I went back. What questions? Well, I wanted to know what true Islam said about the taking of the lives by these so-called Muslims, or I'm not going to say so-called Muslims, I'm going to say the, the Muslims that flew the planes into the buildings. Um, you know, I, I wanted to know what Islam said about that, because I always heard that Islam is a religion of peace, and when I saw what had happened that day, I said, how can Islam be a religion of peace if these men who claim to practice what the Quran says how can they how can it be a religion of peace if they say the Quran says this and this and you know that's why I wanted to know what true Islam said about the events I just wanted to know for a fact what had happened why they claimed they were doing it in the name of Allah and so these gentlemen were very nice they were very nice and sat down and talked to me and the second day I came back and I was still talking to them and before I left that day they gave me an English translation of the Quran and told me to read it and that if I had any questions to find a mosque, a masjid in my area and talk to the brothers at the masjid and you know it was then before I found the masjid I started using this program Pal Talk and there is a room on this program called Islam Answers Back and I sat in that room and I listened to everyone who got on the mic and I didn't ask any questions right off I went in I sat there and they invited me to come to the mic and ask questions so I finally went to the mic no I didn't get bashed no they I told them why I was there and they said, as long as I come in a respectable manner and don't cause any trouble, I was more than welcome to stay in the room and listen 
to the Quran being recited. If I had any questions to ask, and they would do the best to get the answers for me. So I sat in that room, and I listened, and I asked my questions. Well, my sister was diagnosed with cancer, and she passed away October 29th of 2006. And she, um, you know, she passed away, and at midnight, at midnight, on Eastern, East Coast time, I went into the room, and I was talking, and I told them that my sister passed away, and as I was talking, I felt a tug at my heart, like, okay, you've listened. This is where you need to be. You need to say the Shahada and revert to Islam. So... I told, no, she was not Muslim. Um, I'm the only Muslim in my family. No, I'm the only one. So, I said the Shahada, and it felt like chains, it felt like chains were lifted off of me. And the first week, I mean, I, was, I felt like I was floating on air. I felt like this was where I needed to be all along. Why didn't I do this before now? You know? And I said to myself, I said, you know, I was always, I was always searching for something to believe in, but I always, I always ended up turning my back on whatever somebody was telling me. But this, I haven't turned my back on. In fact, I found a beautiful masjid in the area that I live in. In fact, it's the oldest masjid in my city. It's been around for 67 years in the same place. <laughs> and I went in there and I introduced myself to the imam and the brothers in there. And when they heard I was a revert, oh, you, you know... <laughs> They, they, you know, they were so happy to hear that. And I spent time there while I was still working. But now that I'm retired, I... No, I'm a single, I'm a single man. I'm a single man. Uh, no children. Um... Uh, that's something I've been asking Allah to help me with because as I was a kid, the doctors told me that I could never become a father due to some medical problems I had. But I believe Allah will take care of that. And he will provide me with a good Muslim woman for a wife. Oh, yes. Yes, I understand that. <laughs> Definitely. But you know what? Right now, my life... I'm not where I need to be to support a family. So, yep. I'm, you know, so it'll happen when Allah wills it. In his time, I'm, you know, and when he feels I'm ready, he will place that right woman in my life. And yes, inshallah. Yes, you're very right. And, you know, I've never, never regretted reverting, you know. And um, in this month of Ramadan, I mean, due to me being diabetic, I am not able to fast. I had talked to my imam about it, and he told me that being diabetic, that, you know, I didn't have to fast, but I, I try a little bit. I might fast a meal or something, you know, and, and take the... I, 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 I've retired from my job. And so I have a lot of time to go to the masjid now. And I spend a lot of time down there. And uh, one of the brothers is offers, offered to teach me Arabic, which is wonderful. I mean, you know... <laughs> um, 
it's wonderful. And, you know, it's so nice to know that the world, you know, after going into the room and uh, the other room and reverting, I have been invited by a brother who lives in, Beth, uh, in, in Jerusalem, in the Muslim quarter of Jerusalem. He said, anytime I want to come over and spend time with him and his family, I've got a place to stay. Uh, I've been in the, um, I've been invited to come and spend time with a brother in Dubai. Um, as long as you know and he said I can stay as long as I want he said if I'd like to stay over there and you know learn uh, Arabic in in, in in country he would be happy to set something up for me so and yes it is brotherhood you're right brotherhood in Islam you're very right you're very right and you know it's just so amazing so amazing that people I haven't met face to face ah good evening how are you doing tonight it's so amazing you know that people I have not met face to face have treated me like family you know I'm still amazed at that I am so amazed at that and um, that is that is amazing in itself, you know. And just wonderful, wonderful. So I hope uh, I hope night and one that I answered all your questions. Um, if I haven't, let me know. You know any that I missed. My, my family? Oh, well, what about they take it? They've been very accepting. My family has been very accepting. Um, this is one of the things that, you know, oh, yes, yes, and, you know, they keep saying no, but one day, inshallah, that'll be different that will be different I'm believing Allah to do a work in both of their lives and uh, you know all I got to do is keep on praying and believing praying and believing that's that's all I can do about anything about supply the answers and um you know, I, 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 by the way, I did put this room in my favorites. Um, I will be back as much as I can. Um, you know, it's just to every one of you for the kind welcome. Uh, yes, you're right. This is a, this is one of the best rooms I have found. You're right. So. Anyway, I need to go pray. So I'm gonna, I'm, 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 uh, you know, I'm gonna pray a little more each day. So y'all take care, and y'all have a wonderful night, and wherever day, night, wherever you're at. And okay, I'll be here for a minute, night, and. Uh, Brothers and sisters in Islam, may Allah bless you, protect you and your families, wherever you may be. And uh, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And the mic is free. Walaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And assalamu alaikum. I hope you can hear me. Okay, fine. Okay, Jazakallah uh, khairan ahiba. That was a pleasure indeed. Alhamdulillah, that was a pleasure indeed to know and to hear Amin and Jure listening to it very carefully. Alhamdulillah, that's, that's absolutely rejoicing indeed. Alhamdulillah. Oh, I'd like to have you all stay here with us. Um, I just want to ask you this question. Um, uh, 
consciousness like uh, Avenue Mercy. You planned uh, to go for a hut any time. Like, do you have any plans? Anything as such? The mic is here. <laughs> well, that's going to take a little bit of prayer about that because I I am retired from my job. I am on a fixed income right now. Um, yeah, well, yes, I am a new revert. Uh, yes, I am. And uh, one day, you see, the reason I said my Shahada twice, I said it here in Pal Talk, and then I said it at the Masjid, my Imam gave me some papers so that if I ever did try to go to Mecca for the Hajj, that I would have papers saying that I am a revert to Islam and that I am able to, eligible to go on Hajj. So he gave me the papers. Um, I went to, uh, I guess it's Juma prayer on Friday. I believe that's how you say it. Um, I believe that's how it is. Friday prayers. And I, I said the Shahada on a Friday at the Masjid, and he gave me the papers. So yes, one day I will try to do that. And the mic is free. Welcome back, uh, Savior died for you. Uh, good to see you. You're a very wonderful guest. Um, you always come here. You always we always enjoy your time, our time uh, with you. Okay, brothers and sisters, if you have any questions of the brother, come on, you know, raise your hand, ask your question, let him answer. Inshallah, it's his moment. Um, uh, many of you are reverts here in this room, Inshallah. Uh, it doesn't make you any less. It's just that we, Alhamdulillah, we've heard your story. We may ask you to to take the mic and uh, say it again. But it's the first time that I hear Brother Bear, Bear Man, and I'm very Allah, proud and honored uh, to hear him and his story. Uh, Brother Bear, please, uh, Wallahi, uh, we love you as if we know you, okay? For the sake of Allah only, okay? So do not, do not uh, stay away from us. Come back, inshallah, and uh, admin with us, and inshallah we all benefit from you and from all the new believers uh, that come to Islam. Yeah, Savior, uh, Say La Ilaha Allah is my other neck. Okay, Say La Ilaha Allah is my other neck. Tayyip, uh, any, anyone that has a question? Hey, Savior, do you have any question to the revert? Any question at all that would you like to ask him? Just to double check if he was just... Um, if he's an actor or not, like all these Christians in other rooms do. They claim, they claim to have... Uh, uh, found a Muslim that left Islam and they, they make up this play about him, subhanAllah. And the truth is uh, very easy to spot. Um, you know, Bear represent one of the 25,000 people uh, that come to Islam after September 11 in the U.S. alone. And uh, let alone the, the rest of the world, you know, subhanAllah. Okay, Bear, no problem. Tayyip, the mic is free for any of your questions. Please, uh, please go ahead. Tafadala. Just welcome our brother. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. And what really got me, and I'm, you know, what really got me about Christianity was I was being told that in order to be a Christian, I had to tell people that if they did not believe that Jesus was their Savior, that they were going to be in hell. But the Bible, no, I wasn't an atheist. I just... You know, I knew there was a God, but I didn't worship. But when I read in the uh, the Bible, 
it says, Judge not lest ye be judged, for how ye judge others will be judged accordingly unto you. And I said to myself, well, how can I say, if a person doesn't believe what I believe in, that they're going to be condemned? And I asked somebody at a church near my house. They couldn't give me an answer. So, you know, that's why I was in any, in any organized religious denomination. So, like I say, after everything happened September 11th, I, you know, I felt drawn to understanding, you know, to... Under, uh, to un want to understand what Islam has said about all things, you know, and that's the thing. That's the thing. I felt, like I said, I felt the tugging at my heart when I before the Shahada, and then when, after the Shahada was said, it just felt like chains were lifted off my shoulders. So. If there's any other questions, feel free. Okay, would you like to uh, come up on the mic, my Sager? And, uh, or what? I'll, I'll release the mic and if you want to come up. Uh, uh, as you are a new revert, and we have a guest um, that is my saviour. Uh, what would you advise this person, particularly because he's a very nice guest um, who keeps coming regularly, uh, who likes to be uh, with Muslims? Uh, what would you advise this person to? What, since, uh, what things that they should have in them when they are? seeking to find out the truth between the two, um, when they are comparing between the two rivers. And anyways, the mic is free. What I would tell the person, what I would tell anyone who is not Muslim, who does not follow the Quran, do not hate those who follow the Quran just because you do not believe in it. We all are human beings. We all want the same things for our family. We want a roof over our heads. We want food. We want them to grow up and have good health. You know? If you have questions, if you have questions, about Islam, don't hesitate to ask them. I was told that the only dumb question is one that you do not ask. Every question is important. If you feel you need an answer to a question, then it's important for you to get that answer. You know? If you, if you feel like you're searching for something, Ask any questions. Any questions. You know? And treat people with respect. Treat people with the same respect that you want to be treated with. And that's what I tell people. I try to te treat people, no matter what, with the same respect I would like to be treated with. So, okay, I see my savior has had their hand up, so I'm going to release the mic. Well, hey, Bear Man, um, congratulations on your revert to Islam. Everybody uh, will congratulate you here, and they're all very happy for you. Um, I have a question. Um, Bear Man, uh, who do you... Who do you th um, let me I, let me say this the right way? Um, do you believe that Gabriel gave um, the Quran to 
uh, Muhammad. That's that's my first question. I yield the mic. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh, uh, you're very you're very welcome to ask any question to anyone at any time. It just uh, I thought this question is uh, off topic. I'll tell you why. This brother probably is, uh, as far as Islamic knowledge, is not as strong as uh, the veteran Muslim who's been Muslims all their lives or uh, uh, Muslims for a year or two or three. But believe it or not, since we have no fear of his answer, he's going to answer all that you like. Because Allah guides him, not people. Not how much knowledge he has. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, only him can guide. Okay? Brother Bear, sorry for the interruption. If you want to answer the question, you're very welcome to. And thank you, Savior, for being kind as always. You're Mike. Assalamu alaikum, brothers uh, and sisters. Sister, this is Islam. And uh, yes, uh, Knight is right. My knowledge of Islam is very limited. And I've never really thought about that at all. So, I would do a disservice to Allah and to my brothers and sisters in Islam is if I answered the question being ignorant of not being studying on it and all. So, I hope you understand that. Um, I have been told that if I don't know about something, it's better not to say anything until I understand it myself, you know. So, um, that's the thing. Um, I hope you understand that, my Savior, you know. I really hope you understand that. Um, since I am very ignorant on the subject, I would kindly not like to answer that, and I hope it does not offend you at all. The mic is free. Um, okay, well, that uh, I understand you are very. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Please don't jump the mic. You know the rules. Uh, let's just uh, let's just have some order, inshallah. Uh, Savior, what is the purpose of your question? It, it, it really ticks me. Uh, yes, you have. I did not see your hand up. I only saw Brother Muslim's hand, wasn't it? If not, then I apologize. But what is the purpose of the question? Are you trying to trick him? I mean, you know, we don't even do that to you. Uh, plus, in Islam, if you have no knowledge of something, you just tell the person, or you say it the way it is. I do not have enough knowledge in this particular topic. And, you know, I, I trust you are an honest person and kind. But do not play games on a new revert. It's just not fair. You do not want to know the answer to that. You just want to trick him. And that's wrong. You know, I, I just asked you, would you like to know the answer? And you said no. SubhanAllah. Right, Brother Muslim, you're my inshallah. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, I would like to congratulate uh, my brother uh, beard man okay uh, and actually I think it's uh, not a big deal any yani I think uh, yani, uh, subhanallah yani I saw a lot of uh, new reverts okay who are now even admins and they answer everything yani. so it's, it doesn't need uh, uh, a lot of knowledge okay to answer for example the Christians and yani you can see Yes, yani in the eastern section we have a girl, her name is Yasmin, she's 12 years old, okay, <laughs> and can debate uh, a priest. Uh, even there is a priest who are uh, insulting Islam day and night, you know, Zakaria Biskeletta, okay, and uh, even uh, we put uh, her phone calls to him in his channel uh, on YouTube. Uh, subhanallah. So I think it's, uh, yani, uh, Subhanallah. Yani in Islam, we have answers to everything because we uh, everything is logical. Uh, see, the problem is, yani, or, or the, the matter is, when you have the truth with you, okay, you, you don't have any problem. Okay.
okay you don't need for example to be uh, angry from someone and insult and go to rooms and insult and make rooms to attack this is those who ask you simple logical questions yeah. okay so uh, and this is what we see and I think my savior he can see uh, what Christians do in Paltok for example okay and uh, and for example in uh, in English section okay and I have been for maybe a couple of months I didn't see anyone who comes in and debate in a respectable way never happened and that's why we, and, uh, one of the rare people who are respectable here is my savior really yeah. and my savior is one of the respectable people here and this is very rare I don't know why and, uh, and, uh, my, and my savior and, uh, did, did you, didn't you think about this why why there is a lot of hate of other Christians in the rooms? You didn't think about this? Huh? Love the West 111. I am ex Muslim. <laughs> you are ex Muslim. Okay, so you wake up at 3 o'clock at the night and you saw a beautiful man with blue eyes and long hair looking at you and smiles. And then he hugged you for three or four times and uh, uh, Jesus touched your heart right <laughs> subhanallah this is what we hear and this is what we hear from those who claim to uh, to uh, leave uh, Islam and uh, become Christians and subhanallah when we hear people like uh, uh, brother beer man and look, he's a person who, who went and was asking questions and was reading, okay? This is the difference. And subhanAllah, this is the difference. And I like very much to hear uh, and, uh, stories of new, uh, of new brothers and sisters, and, uh, and you see them, very people who, who read, understand, reason what they read, not just read. You can, there is people who can read but don't understand anything, okay? And subhanAllah, and, uh, and uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides them for sure, okay, but this is the difference, yeah. Yeah, this is the difference, and I, I'm sure, yeah, for example, the, the one who are saying I was ex-Muslim, if you give him the mic, he will tell you, for example, he was sitting in the plane, and looked uh, outside of the plane, and he saw some light, this is it, if you don't bounce me, I'm going nowhere, no one will bounce you. I love the West. No one is going to bounce you. If you are respectable, why will bounce you? You can say your face without any problem. Who will bounce you? Why? Is there a reason? No. Okay, sorry to take the mic for a long time. Uh, and mic is free. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay. Bye. Assalamu warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Mm. I hope you can hear me. Uh, is my voice clear enough? No, I see. Okay, fine. Alhamdulillah. Um, 